Will, tell us about this prototype phone that's been distributed to about 5,000 app developers. Well, basically it's RIM's effort to get developers excited and working on this new operating system before the, the new phones officially launch later this year. Um, it kind of looks like an Android phone. It looks like a miniature playbook tablet, which is RIM's tablet. Um, the most noticeable features is the feature it doesn't have, which is the signature BlackBerry keyboard. Mm. And they say that it will still have a, you know, uh, easy to use predictive touchscreen keyboard. But um, that doesn't mean that the next line of phones won't come with a physical keyboard. They are not saying whether that will happen or not yet. Okay, they're, they're not committing to that. They're not committing to get rid of that long-standing keyboard, which has been around for, you know, a very long time now. Now, one of the things they were doing, releasing a prototype to app developers, is not is not a, um, it's not an uncommon thing, but it's not a common thing either. Um, why specifically are they doing that? Well, because they realized in the last few months that without developers creating apps for their new phones that people want to use, they're not going to sell enough Blackberries to, to turn the ship around. So they have to get developers on board and excited and building apps that customers will want to, to play with. Now, for app developers, there's, a, there's an, another way of looking at things, isn't there? I mean, if, if you want to build an app, you want as many people to buy it or use it as possible, and that's going to be Android or iPhone. Um, what is the incentive for app developers to go and produce an app for a BlackBerry, um, give, given that, you know, really it hasn't, um, there isn't much of an ecosystem there, and, and BlackBerry is doing worse and worse? Well, because they, I mean, there still are 77 million BlackBerry subscribers around the world, so it's not like it's a, you know, um, minimal user base, but and they also maybe are hedging and betting that RIM can turn it around, and they also are thinking that maybe if there are a few successful apps with enterprises or things like that, then they can make a buck developing these apps for those kinds of things.